Hey guys, Mike here again. Did my first yard sailing this morning with my kids. Kind of interesting going out with the kids. You know, you can't really be too fast about it and you wind up losing a little bit of money because they want things, but it's still a lot of fun to go out with them. Yeah, I didn't do too bad, but only had a couple hours, around, well, maybe three hours from around 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Had to go over to, my, to the park with my son. Had little league pictures today and had a game. And then my daughter had a soccer game, so really didn't get a chance to do too much but got a few neat things got a ionic breeze I think it's called brand new air purifier uh, it's never been used still has the original paperwork and everything got that for 10 bucks and I'll probably keep that because uh, my wife and I both have some allergies so what the heck I'll throw that up in the bedroom or family room and see if it helps and uh, got some I forget who makes these it's a heritage village collection it says I think it's department 56 but I've done well in this type of thing in the past, so I figured why not. I think I got, I talked them down to about, what, 15 bucks for all of it, I think. Maybe less, I can't remember. What's even, I can't even see what's priced there, but I'm sure I'll at least make my money back on that. But I've sold some of those before for 30 or 40 bucks a piece, so I rolled the dice. I haven't researched them, so who knows what that's worth. And just because everybody on YouTube seems to be into hats and, and do well with them, I figured I'd try some hats. Got a A's hat. I uh, can't make out that one really. Uh, wool Riders only. I don't know. And let's see here. A Batman hat. That one I'm kind of thinking might be half decent. And uh, I'm not sure what that is. Michigan maybe? I don't know. Not Maryland. This would be Terps. Who, uh, who knows? But yeah, I got some hats. Um, got some watches here. I did actually research two, uh, all of them and two of them turned out to be possibly worth some money. That one right there is a Ben Russ, and I've seen ones exactly like it go for 20 or 30 bucks on eBay, but also saw a couple go for 5 or 10 So I'm not really sure what the deal is with that, but there's a little money there. And that guy right there, and now I can't remember what it is. It's a Timex uh, man, X, Expedition or something like that. And they're going for around 30 bucks, some of them on eBay. So I got like 5 bucks into those watches, so I'll definitely make some good money on that. And of course I did my... Uh, DVDs and CDs for Amazon. I got 50, if I remember correctly, there's 53 DVDs there. And I can't, couldn't even tell you how much I have into them, but I'm imagining it's like 20, 25 bucks, something like that. And I paid too much for these CDs just because I couldn't find any CDs today, and I finally stumbled across a lot of them. And I paid too much for them just to get them. I paid 70 bucks for 100, how many is in there? 100. 27 I think I counted give or take something like that so a little more than 50 cents a piece and some of them are scratched up I noticed so who knows it's CDs can be a roll of the dice we'll see what happens uh, these are pretty cool but my concern is my children are going to take these from me these are a lot of uh, 10 Wii games well actually one's Xbox 9 Wii games I guess it is and I paid $22 is what I paid for those $22 so Heck, even if the kids take a couple, I'm um, sure I'll do well on that. That's part of the CD lot. Let's see, what else? Oh, Halloween costumes. That's the last thing I got here. I think I got four of them. A uh, Stormtrooper, a uh, Pirate, uh, like a Sea Monster type thing, and uh, like a, you can't see it, it's kind of covered up. There's a Thomas the Train type outfit under there. I only paid two bucks a piece for them, and so I'm not sure if I'll even put them now or if I'll... Hold off until Halloween. We'll see. So that's about it for the yard sale stuff. Not a whole lot to show, but I just wanted to make a video since I finally got out and hit the first yard sale. You want to be in it, Dad? Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah. Open those up. I'll show, show them those things. Crack those open. And, I'll... and um, while my son's cracking open his uh, his loot there, I'll let you know. I, I never did do updates for the last two auctions that I was talking about on eBay. Uh, one of them I had 350 or 60 bucks into it or so, and it was some celluloid toys, some Barclay toy soldiers and stuff. I wound up making over 600 bucks, so I almost doubled my money on that, and I was really concerned I'd I'd wind up uh, you know losing on that one. So I'm really pleasantly surprised I did half decent on that. And then the last one I had I think 1100 bucks into it, and I wound up with 1800 dollars, uh, like 1850. Plus a bunch of stuff that I put into, um, like, uh, all those Hess trucks and everything, and there's ornaments and the matchbox, and I put all that into the, just a second, Adam, I put all those into Amazon, and plus I had a bunch of stuff that 
that I didn't sell on my auction and I wound up putting it in the store because I know it'll wind up selling. So, did half decent there and uh, I guess that's about it. Let's see, I have to do, uh, my CDs here are getting pretty full. I've got, or my uh, shelves I should say, I've got 2100 CDs up and these are pretty much filling out. So between the this 127 and also I bought another 400 CDs off eBay from a guy that I've worked with and well, I shouldn't say worked with but I bought from in the past I went through each box has a hundred you can see there's three left there I already went through one box of a hundred and I'd say probably 65 or so of the CDs went up on Amazon and I actually kept notes of how much I was listing them for and it came up to two I can't remember now exactly but I know it was 230 something so out of one box I paid uh, 30 I think it was 35 or 39 dollars per hundred CD so for a 39 dollar investment I got 200 some dollars to put into Amazon but you know a lot of them maybe not a lot but uh well yeah I guess you know a good percentage of them were uh, kind of uh, low sales ranking or high sales ranking I don't know how you would say that the uh, not good end of it so they may sit a while before I sell them but yeah I've got so I've got another uh, 300 CDs there plus those CDs and DVDs, so I'm thinking I'm going to wind up having to build out this wall here, just like we did this one, and expand and see if this uh, CD operation continues to scale. So far it has. So with that, uh, I'll show you real quick. Adam got some stuff. Let's see if I can sneak a few from him and sell them on eBay. I heard that. <laughs> what are these things anyway? Bakugans. 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 And they come with trading cards and all kinds of stuff. They're not you got... trading cards, Dad. No, they're not trading cards? What are they, then? Looks they're like magnet card. cards. Magnet cards, but I think they do. you do trade them. They come with the back guns. You put them on those cards. Flip one open, Adam. Let's see it. Warning. Some of these have problems with them, just like this one. That one doesn't work real well, huh? See, um, like these arms are supposed to come out, but they're, like, too long. So it don't work well. Did it do anything? No. Yeah. And some are broken. Here, crack some one open. Let's, let's show everybody what you got here. There it is. No, it's, no, 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 no. That's not it. Well, it's clear. There you go. And then that's still not it. Okay. Eat. Okay, they're like little balls that you, when you put them on the magnet card, they pop open into some kind of, what, like dragon or something, Adam? Some kind of creature. Mm -hmm. So he got two like anything. of these. Oh, man, Adam, you took my Furby, didn't you? Yep. I forgot about that. Yeah, uh, so he got all these for now. like seven or eight bucks, I think, four total. Furbies now. And uh, I'm sorry, guys, I'm rambling here. But yeah, right between those hats once sat a Furby. And if you're a parent, you probably know what a Furby is. It's like some kind of little creature. It's battery operated and it's supposed and it to be show. halfway intelligent and it talks and all this stuff. And we got all our kids each one last Christmas give or take and we were paying between 40 and 60 dollars on eBay a piece for these things they were pretty hot and we found one at, the, at a um, what was it flea market today for 12 dollars so we got it now I've just got to manage to steal it from my kids at one point throw it up on eBay alright guys take care uh, thanks for watching good luck everybody bye